Hey guys, it's Nova Joe. Uh, a while back I did a video where I showed you how to farm mission 86 with the Air Raider. And while that was a great way to farm mission 86 with the Air Raider, it didn't really elaborate on how to farm this mission with other classes. So what I want to do here is show you how to farm mission 86 now with the Wing Diver. Uh, and just to let everybody know, mission 86 on Inferno can net you up to level 91 weapons from what I can tell and the reason being is because I have achieved uh, level 91 weapons uh, by farming this mission back on the Japanese version now unless they've changed it for this one which I'm not sure you still should be able to get level 91 weapons on this mission so first off what you want to do is you want to for the for the wing diver pick your best rapier and honestly you could do this with probably any rapier you just have to be real careful uh, with the lower tier rapiers and their damage output uh, they have a good way of stun locking the enemies but sometimes one of these pill bugs can still get through but I'm going to show you the star rapier which is the best rapier you can get right now and another even quicker way to farm this mission but it does require you to push the trigger repeatedly is to pick the triple lance ZD which as you can see here has a max damage of at close range 5,662.3 points of damage and it's a three round burst so it will absolutely destroy the pill bugs in a shot the only thing is you have to charge it up but it has as you can see here I got the charge maxed at 0.67 seconds so it's real fast to charge it and it destroys these pill bugs quickly so let me go ahead and jump on into this and show you uh, how these weapons work. And with the Star Rapier, I don't have it maxed, but it does 19.3 right now times 12, and it keeps them stun locked, has a very quick uh, recharge time, and it just decimates these enemies. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Now when the mission starts, the first thing you want to do is to take off to your right and follow this creek bed here and follow it all the way till it hits the waterfall. Once you get to the waterfall, there is a little crevice over here that's a safety net. You are virtually 100% uh, defended from this area. Well, let me rephrase it. You're 99 percent defended from this area and they're going to have a hard time touching you they can if you quit firing but if you keep firing you can take them out pretty quickly so i'm going to show you how this works here um, after they kill off all the fencers down there they're going to come straight for me and then i'm just going to unleash on them the nice thing about this rapier is that all you got to do is hold in the trigger and it just keeps going when it's empty, it'll refill on its own and it refills quickly. So pick your best rapier. And if you have to pick a lower tier rapier, one that doesn't have much uh, power to it, uh, much damage output, hold in your left thumb stick to the left so that it has your character like walking back into the corner. And I found that this will kind of protect you from them because if you have a low tier weapon, and they come in here they'll sometimes bump you and cause you to push outwards thus causing you to get hit so if you have a low a low power rapier hold in left but since I have a really powerful one I don't have to hold left in on the analog stick I can just sit here and fire away as you can see this rapier just drives the enemies backwards and they're just pouring in and eventually they're gonna start crowding me and they're going to be all piled into this one little crevice here, but they won't be able to touch me. As long as I keep this thing going. Just keep pouring it to them. Might have to angle it a little bit. Just to make sure you're hitting them above and below. As you can see, it's just chewing them up. I mean, you got pieces of pill bugs flying at you left and right. But nothing to fear you're just gonna drive them on back all right this is the first wave and there's not too many left well as you can see there on the mini map the second wave just popped up 
and they're going to start pouring in too. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this now with the Triple Ant ZD. And using the Triple Ant ZD actually kills them quicker and makes this farming mission go by a lot quicker. But it, but this weapon does have a, a slightly longer uh, pause between shots as you charge it up and then release it. So you do have a greater chance of them gathering up on you, maybe getting you. But if you get it right, it will just it'll devastate them and you won't have anything to worry about and so you might actually want to hold left while using the triple lance ZD as well so here we go charge up let go charge up let go just keep doing that repeatedly and as you can see here it's just it's just tearing into them just chewing them up only thing is you just got to keep up hitting the trigger yourself but look it's just shredding them just absolutely shred them. Now if you don't have the Triple Lance ZD, that's fine. Just just uh, pick your rapier, hold left on your uh, left analog stick so that you stay backed into this corner and they can't, they can't cause you to get bumped out. So like if they bump you a little bit, as long as you're holding left on the analog stick, you'll walk right straight back into this crevice and be safe. So, when I use the Triple Lance ZD, I hold left. When I'm using the Star Rapier, I don't worry about it so much because it drives them back and they don't usually have a chance to touch me. So, let's see here. There he is. Boom. Now, here comes Wave 3. Now you get enough of them out here. Look at all these boxes. Just tons and tons of boxes. I like to try to grab a few of them real quick. Because sometimes, the way these peel bugs line up, you might not be able to get out on the second wave to pick them up. And then on the third wave, if you kill all of the third wave, you might have a, a bit more difficulty uh, getting out there in time to collect all of them before the mission complete timer runs out. But if you're fast enough, you can do it. Come on, there we go. Here they come, they ain't wasting any time. Hold left on the analog stick, keep myself walking in that corner. And since most of you will definitely have the rapier, we'll finish this off with the rapier. You can try this with uh, uh, any rapier, even your low tier rapier. Just make sure, like I said, to keep pushing left on the left analog stick to keep yourself walking back into that corner just in case they happen to nudge you. All right, we're down to the last couple enemies here. And I'll be real quick to pick up the boxes and then that will be mission complete. All right, run on out here, grab what you can. And it isn't a huge pickup for uh, boxes, but you can get a, at least four green boxes. And sometimes you can get uh, upwards of, uh, as you can see here, I got eight green boxes. And managed to pick up uh, some, there's a level eight, well, there's the Triple Lance ZD leveled up. Uh, some level 72, 68, Fork X20. So as you can see here guys, I was able to pick up eight boxes. And like I said, I have managed to get um, a level 91 weapon for the Ranger on here, the UMAS grenade launcher. So I know you can get level 91 weapons on here. So, all right guys, I just wanted to show you this farming mission. Mission 86 is one of the best uh, for ease of farming. I'll put it to you that way. You can just sit back in that corner and just blast away. It's not a great level to get armor on. But it is a great level to go out and pick up anywhere from like four to eight uh, weapon boxes that can net you uh, into the level 90 weapons. So, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, next, I will do one uh, showing you how to do it with a Ranger. So, all right, guys, as always, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming.